We're literally cooking lunch on the heath today, so a proper renovation lunch. Um, I've painted the cupboard doors with the first coat of the Farrow and Ball. So I've done them in two coats of the, the copy and then the top coat of the Farrow and Ball. We've, got a, we've flown over to the rental and dumped all the scaffolding boards, the rest of the scaffolding boards. So we've got a busy day ahead. So I'm literally, literally cooking lunch. Sensitive content. If I have any vegetarians or vegans, or non-meat eaters, you might want to look away now because we're cooking steak. But not just any steak. That might sound quite fancy, might it, on a um, on a Friday lunchtime? You're cooking steak? That's a bit posh. But it's bavette. So have any of you ever cooked bavette? It's um some butchers. I think some butchers call it like flank or skirt. But um. I went to a supper club my, by my very good friend Ian, drinking butcher, um, who is based in Manchester, and he cooks bavette quite a lot, beautifully, beautifully, um, and that's where I first had it, and it's absolutely brilliant. And you know what? The reason the reason it's so brilliant is it's cheap. It is cheap. It is a good like renovating all your money is going on your renovating it's a really good piece of steak it's great to barbecue so for example the same weight of that would be about 12 pounds in rump steak we got it from a butcher's and this is about six quid we do it in sainsbury's as well so i got this from frost our local butchers it's absolutely fab to cook with and you can cook it so it's medium rare right i'm going to get it in the thing anyway so basically da -da -da, i've got my griddle pan on so griddle it griddles really well and it also barbecues brilliantly so I'm just going to get that on. And me and Mr. Moore just like our steak, medium rare. Um, and even my dad, who is so fussy, like literally so fussy. Even he, when I gave him some... Um, no, it's not sinewy, Zoe. It's not sinewy at all. Um, if you overcook it, it, it is. But actually, the trick with it, and with barbecuing it as well, is you cook it, sear it on the outside, and then you let it rest. So you've got to let this rest and it's actually really soft and juicy in my opinion um, and, I, and everybody that we've ever given this to really loves it one day i'll have a proper kitchen won't i where i won't have to keep moving the ladder around so i'm going to do my sliced bavette and i'm going to do it on i have um, a slightly out of date ciabatta so don't throw your ciabattas away they're slight um, Tanita Mamorelli, what steak was it? Bavette. So I'm doing flank um, and just searing it so it's medium rare. And I'm going to slice it and I'm going to have it on some um, some ciabatta. Because I'm going to make my ciabatta into those um, lovely, crispy Italian bread bases. Um, and you can buy them, can't you, Mark's expensive, but they're dead easy to make. And especially if you've got ciabatta that's going a little bit out of date and oh, it's got a little bit, it's got a bit, going a bit hard. So I'm going to just um, whoop, put some olive oil on. Now I did say on my stories this morning that I've put a bit of chunk on during this lockdown time, time and I have I've put a few kilograms. And so some of you might have seen me pouring olive oil onto my bread thinking, well that's not very healthy. And actually, um, I'm of the opinion that the more olive oil you can drink, the better. And I'm sure that <laughs> Nick at Tanita Marmorelli <laughs> will totally agree. I'm, I, oh, just let me let the cat out. Okay now, boo boo. One out, one in. Come on, Missy, you out. Come on, Rocky, you coming in. Come on. Chip, 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 chip. Let me see about that. Um, yeah, I drink olive oil, and I don't think it's that that's made me put a bit of weight on. It's um, gin and chocolate and cake and not looking after myself during lockdown. I'm just going to turn my bavette over. Hang on. I've just let one side see her. So literally, with your butter, to make it some crisps for lunch, I'm just going to salt and pepper it, olive oil, and bring it in the oven, and it goes really beautifully crispy. This is really good with um, hummus as well, if you've got homemade hummus, or if you've got the artichoke dip that I made, or any kind of dip really, it's absolutely fast, and so easy, it takes about five minutes. So my oven is just on. And the other thing we're going to have on our ciabatta crisps with our bavette steak is char grilled peppers. So again, if you've got a pepper, works best with red and yellow peppers. It doesn't work particularly well with green ones. Um, just let me open the door because 
it's getting a bit smoky because of my griddle. But you can buy these, can't you? You can buy these in the supermarket, in jars, in the deli counter, and they're quite expensive, and they're really easy. So I've just um, sliced my peppers into quite big chunks, and then I've grilled them. So you can also do this, if you've got, um, if you've got a gas hob, you can also hold the pepper, put a whole pepper on the gas hob and char it so the outside gets really charred and then you put them in a plastic bag and let them cool down and then you literally just take the skins off like that and they become the sweetest, most delicious things. So these I'm going to cut into slices and I'm also going to char, grill in the griddle pan um, some courgette and basically that's what we're going to have for our lunch. But the pièce de la résistance. Look at this. So I got a little care package earlier this week from um, Steph Hugs. I don't know if she's joining in. She might not. She might be working. Um, it is, oh my goodness, wild garlic butter. So we talked about this, didn't we? I think we mentioned this um, on one of the lives the other week. Oh, let me just make sure that my... Hang on a minute, I'll show you this. Let me just make sure that we're not overcooking. Da, 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 da. The thing is with steak, I like to just leave it. Whoop. I do not want this. I do not want this to be. Can you see in the middle? Still rare in the middle. I'm just going to char the outside a little bit more. And in fact, shall we throw the courgettes in as well? This is the thing about um, renovation cooking. I like it when it's one one pan, so things can be thrown in one pan. Minimise your washing up, especially if you got, haven't got hot water. We spent about, oh my goodness, we spent about a year washing up with the kettle, out of the kettle. Um, and they were all rubbish, the expensive kettle. The best one was one that was 14 99 we got from Sainsbury's. Anyway, um, I think we went through about four dual-lit kettles in that time. Kept taking them back. It kept breaking. Um, so I've got my courgettes in. And I don't like, if you're going to do courgettes as well, don't let them go soggy. So keep them so, just leave them like that, let them char on one side and then flip them, but keep them so they're quite firm. And then I'll slice those up and have them with the pepper. So yeah, so basically I'm just going to peel the skin off my peppers. What are you guys all up to today? So I'm going to be heading off over to the rental and I'm going to do today, this afternoon, I'm going to do the wallpapering. I'm going to wallpaper one of the walls and we're also going to get the rest of the scaffold um, scaffolding wall on as well. I think that's the plan for today. I was hoping that we'd get the kitchen doors on so I could finish the triptyque of the, the threesome on the grid, but I don't think, I think they need to dry a little bit longer. So can you see how easily the skin comes off the red peppers? And normally, I'd eat half of them, but I'm not doing that because you're watching. I'm gonna cut it off now. What I need to do, I need to put my um, I need to put my crisps in with my oh broken door. No. Oh, what a shock! What a shock! I suddenly seem to have two cats under my feet. I'll just test this bit. I'm going to chop some um, cherry tomatoes just to go with my mm, vegetables. Let's have a look. Let's have a little look at our bavet. So steak so if some of you've just joined in looks like a very decadent lunch I've cooked bavette steak which is a really really affordable cut of beef which I think gives you all the flavor I haven't salt and peppered it yet and um, gives you all the flavor of you know a, a rump steak but at half the price it's Marty oh. see for me for some of you this might be a bit too rare but we like, we like our steak still mooing. <laughs> so basically, hang on a second. Get yourself a sharp knife. And get some cuts. And there you go. And that'll feed, that's actually enough steak. That's a massive amount of meat. So we'll probably have, although I think Mr. Marsh is walking down, he would eat all of that on his own. That will, um, that will serve us for lunch. Hello, Mrs. Mamu. What a shock! Can you see her? Really? What is it you want? 
<laughs> she said, you, st you stupid woman, I want steak, of course. Really? Um, it is perfectly cooked. To need to Marmarella, yes. So that'll be it. So I'll tell you what, um, I'm gonna get serving up now, and what, what was that, 18 minutes? Um, oh, I'll tell you what, hang on, hang on. About these, let me tell you. So these need, you see, they start crisping up. These probably need another, yeah, they need another. I'm going to turn that up, actually, you want it, want it quite high. No crisp on those, those need another five minutes. So unless, whoop, I've got a broken oven door as well, it's so annoying. Oh, there's somebody else there. Are you waiting for steak as well? Both of you. Is that, is that you and the cat? <laughs> what? Steak? There you go. That's our renovation lunch, renovation recipe with a bit of bavette. Get yourself down to your butchers and ask about bavette. It is a bruschetta. <laughs> yeah, Tanita Mamarelli. Yay. Bruschetta. See, I've got, I've got pain brain. The paint fumes, they've all gone to my head. Right, we're going. Laters. And a few cherry tomatoes to my courgette and red pepper. It'd be pretty rude not to have some more people fresh from the garden. What do you think, Sarah? So the proof of the pudding <laughs> was in the eating. How's it, Mr. Morgers? A very quick renovation recipe. It's a mountain of food. How the hell am I going to decorate after all this? I'm not even going to be able to get up off the floor.